How's it going, everyone? I'm going to do an unboxing. Never done an unboxing video before. And no, the manufacturer didn't send me some free gift to review because this gift would be completely useless for probably 99.999% of the people in the world. I was cleaning out, as I mentioned in a video uh, before this, our, my father-in-law's and, and mother-in-law's storage space, and it was full of just junk. And in one corner there, there was this stack of these Nintendo like hot seats things with these controllers, and I was like, okay, that might be worth something, and you know. Uh, then I look over in the other corner and I found all these pogs, which I did a previous video about, just tons of pogs. But for the most part, uh, you know, it's generally just stuff, right? This right here is stuff. This is a Sony AG500 Betamax tape loader, multi-tape loader. So. Let me just give you a rundown here. I haven't opened this or taken it out yet, and I wanted to do this on video because I thought it would be fun. This 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 unit right here would go on the front of a, you know, most... It's funny because the kids today, a lot of people, everyone knows what a VCR is, but there are still people out there who probably haven't heard of Beta. And Beta was the competing model with, uh, basically, with VCRs. Uh, they had Betamax tapes, which you would put in the Beta machine. One of the problems came with when the movie was over, you would have to get up off your butt, take the tape out, and put the next tape in. So naturally somebody would come up with an exorbitant price on some ridiculous item which loads your tapes for you. And this thing would mount on the front of the machine and it would actually hit the eject button, I believe. It would, the tape would come out, go into the front tray, it would lift it up and put it on top of the stack and the next tape would drop down in, roll in, and then it would hit play. That is a pretty damn sophisticated device, if I may say so, for such a limited amount of consumers. So without further ado, so I can see what it looks like here, we'll open it up. The first thing I noticed is that it comes with not just a screwdriver, but a high quality screwdriver with an acrylic handle that looks like it would stand the test of time. You don't get that today, but... So, uh, here's the uh, instruction manual, and that is what it looks like. And it looks like the tapes go in here, come in here, load it, lift it up to the top, drop it back in, and the next one goes in. So let's see what it looks like. We've got the mounting plate and hardware here, and some styrofoam. love stuff like this and just I'm a sucker for old outdated useless pointless things I have a uh, one of the earliest digital cameras which uh, runs it actually takes floppy disks and stores like 10 photos on floppy disks just ridiculous okay so we've got the, the Betamax looks like the loading tray here Okay, here we go. Now, the disappointing thing about this is that I will never have a use for it. I looked them up online and I did find one guy who was selling them, and it was probably some overstock from decades ago. Uh, he was selling them for $195 a piece. I thought, you know, I guess that's natural. And then they probably cost at least that when they came out. And for something new in the box like that, Wow, looks good. Wow, I I just love stuff like this. So here we go. Let's see if we can uh, get her focused on there here. Get a little focus, and you can see all the different buttons. We've got the uh, what's this? The tape end, event end button, reset. Got the rewind and play, or rewind, run, record, pause, play, stop, all the normal things, eject, power. And uh, that's a pretty damn cool device, I must say. I, I, I really wish, unfortunately, it does have the uh, Betamax plug on the back because it's, of course, designed to go on the Beta. So it's not like you can just plug it into the wall and come up with some crazy 
other use for it, but I don't know what other use you would really make for it anyway. So, anyhow, there it is. The Sony AG500 Betamax Autoloader. And uh, I would imagine that for 99.9% of the people out there, they just ask themselves, why did I watch this video? There may be one person out there who says, man, I've been wondering about those forever. Or, I wanted one of those. And uh, now you know what they look like. And I'll tell you something. There's something cool about vintage gear. If anybody has any interest in this thing, of course, let me know. I might still have it <laughs> down the line. If you Google Sony AG500, of course, you're going to come up with like three different, you know, web pages. I mean, it's not something that's exactly highly in demand. So, anyhow, that's my video about it. I don't know what else to say. Fun stuff. Maybe one day I'll make a video about all my random, vintage, uh, outdated things that, uh, that I like to collect, which collect dust. Talk to y'all later. And, uh, Betamax. <laughs>